is basically take them all off him. Can't block me. <laughs> then lie to him. Literally tell him that I'll play for Man City Youth Academy. The amount of times that's won at works is unbelievable. He's, he's even gone as far as to buy a lighter that looks like a Mercedes car key. In Sunny Beach, questionable chat up lines are de rigueur. I like going over to girls and just sniffing their hair. <laughs> if I flip this coin, what are my chances of getting head? <laughs> You come out with the most cheesy shit ever, Ben, to be quite honest. Where are you from? Must be heaven, because I heard they're missing an angel. Or was your daddy a chicken farmer because you've shown how to raise a cock? <laughs> <laughs> what you do is you get a straw, you make a wedding ring, then you propose to them, and they just love it. I don't know, do they think it's real? <laughs> Out on the strip, the Warrington boys are wasting no time. They head to one of the busiest bars where a high concentration of pretty girls is guaranteed. En route, 19 year old City spots an opportunity to get some points on the board. While Sooty shows off his masculinity, Jared nips in and dishes out some killer lines. And scores his first point. I, I nearly won. Oh, where the fuck's my kiss? I started speaking to him, he got a off of them. How does that work? I start the tour off by topping the nearly one. one point. Top of the group, yes! Inside the club, the boys watch in admiration as Jared aims to double his tally. What happens next leaves them all open-mouthed. <laughs> Two girls getting off on stage, that's enough for me. Inspired by what he's just witnessed, Sooty hatches an audacious plan to bag himself some points. Get three points, absolutely no three, some get a side, that wins it. Who are you? Who am I? Celebrity. Fun. All of us. Freeway. As the night draws to a close, Sooty must resign himself to having scored no points whatsoever. Just lock in it. Yeah, pretty much. Just go for another right one. Next, we meet a sexually charged group from Wolverhampton with unusual hunger pangs. Fanny needs feeding! Fanny needs feeding! <laughs> and things turn sour for the Warrington lads as they get drawn into the darker side of Sunny Beach. With young holidaymakers swarming throughout the resort, the air in Sunny Beach is filled with lust. But it's not the boys who take centre stage in hunting down casual encounters. Out here, the female of the species is deadlier than the male. It's really good for a girl to come here if they want one thing and one thing only. I think the weather does something to women. Just makes, just makes them, like, well horny. I think everybody's left their morals at home, to be honest. If you want to have sex with someone, have sex with someone. <laughs> no one needs to know. She's got high standards, I don't have hardly <laughs> any standards. A boy has to be an effort to sleep with a girl. Girls can just walk in and be like, fuck me. Mm. If you sleep with someone back home and, you know, that kind of seals the deal to go into a relationship. You sleep with someone over here, it's an icebreaker for a conversation. My free drink of choice is definitely rum and cranberry juice. Oh, that is the drink of the god. Oh, it's like God's drinking God. God's wee straight out of his willy hole. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it sounds nice. Three bottles Just of wine, that's all you need. Three bottles of wine. Alex, Jodie and Matt grew up together in the West Midlands. We're from Wolverhampton. It's shit. Her accent shit, her It's been voted the fifth worst city in the world. Don't forget your condom. Oh. Wolverhampton and Sunny Beach are like... Worlds apart. Yeah. 
Let's go to the strip. Strip. Let's go get away. A A. Let's go to the beach. Each. Let's go get away. They say. Keen to get the most out of their holiday, the friends are approaching the next two weeks as a sexual experimentation assault course. Wait, can we get to the street? The street. The street. We just can do this. I said I want to go on holiday. Come here, have a good time. And I want to experience yeah. that whole being a slag thing and sleeping around because I've never done it. These two should have got in one second and then a guy would be there. But it's difficult for me because hardly anyone is gay out here. I wouldn't do it like uni stuff because you'd get a reputation because you know people. Whereas here, it's like, that's it, they're gone. Never going to see them again, it's fine. Yeah. No one's going to know. Well, well, <laughs> well. <laughs> As ever, before they can even think about pulling, there's some serious drinking to be done. You can take the girls out of the West Midlands, but you can't take the West Midlands out of the girls. The widespread availability of dirt cheap booze in Sunny Beach doesn't alter their pre match ritual, hiding a takeaway in their underwear. Now suitably drunk, the hunt can begin. I'm delicious, I'm dirty, and I've got all these. We've been here for six days, and I've shagged four people. Fanny needs feeding, Fanny needs feeding. <laughs> that you're bumping into it here is just gagging for the clunge. And you're that clunge. <laughs> there was just men. <laughs> All you could see from Mars is men with their tops off. You Your really fanny was just rebelling. <laughs> Leaving a trail behind like a oh slug. <laughs> when you go on holiday, your fanny just gets loose. They must put something in the air around here, like polluting. There's so much cock here though. It's like being suffocated. The girls soon realise that there's been plenty of dancing, but not much romancing. I haven't got a shot of what's going on in my life. It's not like, marvelous, but your fanny's so huge. You're like a family banquet bucket, and it just could never be filled up. With no love on the horizon, the gang calls it a night and heads back to the hotel. Safe in the knowledge they can continue the search tomorrow. It's a sweltering afternoon in Sunny Beach, and sex is on the mind of just about everyone. But in a resort powered by raging hormones, unbridled lust can have its dark side. Lucky there's a fully equipped medical center to pick up the pieces. One of the resort's most heavily frequented addresses, Sunny Med, Treats up to 40 young Brits every week. What they say, have you been in Sunny Beach? Have you been in Disco? Have you been in Sunny Med? The doctors here do more than just patch up accident prone Brits. I'm concerned about them. So, uh, apart from my obligation and my capacity to be a doctor, I feel myself like a parent. <laughs> Latest to be admitted, Harry from London. He's counting the cost of a sexual encounter that went horribly wrong. Oh, oh, I kicked the door and as I brought my foot back, the uh, corner, hit the corner and then... Mm -hmm. the okay, okay, okay. okay. Basically, last night, I was with some girl in the room and let's just say she stunk. And I told her, I was just like, fuck off and then kicked the door and as I brought my foot back, she hit the door. I was like, oh. She's stunk with like off chicken. And I'm literally there, I'm literally like, you stink, like get off me. And I was like, you like how can you shag people and smell like that? But it seems like a cut foot may be the least of Harry's worries. 
I was just like, I'm not being funny, but you just stink. Like, have you got anything? She's like, but I might have stepped with a guy who, who had herpes, and uh, no, I saw chlamydia. I was like, oh, why are you telling me that now? I might now have chlamydia. Some young people feel very proud when they sleep with many girls. How many nights have you been here? Five. How many people have you slept with? Five. How many have you used a condom with? One. The temptation, if you don't have a condom, is just too unbearable. You but did have a condom. <laughs> I gave you one. Fucking use it. It doesn't feel the same. Yeah, that's true. When I get back to England, 100% need to get checked. Definitely. His cock looks like a lion bar. <laughs> My understanding about love, about sex, is different. I hope that most of them protect themselves. But the alcohol also is possible to be reason to forget about protection. And this is not good. Among the holidaymakers in Sunny Beach, contraception is an opinion-dividing subject. Wrap your wheel there. Don't be silly. We did have one girl bring 14 condoms out with it, so she obviously thought she was going to get well lucky. prepared. <laughs> I've never wore a condom. Have you know? <laughs> never. I, I couldn't live with it. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. But I'd be more worried about uh, a knock on the door with a pram oh, than, yeah. than, than an STI, to be honest with you. Now I'm giving us condoms. No diseases or babies. None are wanted. Never trust a girl who says she's on the pill. Oh, I'm pregnant. Brilliant. I don't remember sleeping with that guy, but I woke up with a condom next to me, so I know that it's fine. <laughs> she's a fun mix of the